Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club with Chandran Store and and backed by popular demand, I just got the Galaxy J5 for routing and do all kinds of stuff on it. As you may be seeing that it has some problems. The front glass is uh, shattered, but it gets the job done, right? So I can uh, install the ROMs. I can view them. I I'm using this f as a daily driver as well with my Galaxy S6 Edge. So I have two phones for the daily driver now. So uh, first of all, we're just gonna root it. So it is running the Marshmallow version 6.0.1. So we are just gonna go in about device and we're gonna see that the software info it says the Android version 6.0.1. So it is Marshmallow over here. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, enable the developers mode and we're gonna enable the USB debugging. To do that, we're just gonna tap on the build number and it must say that developer mode is enabled and we're just gonna go back and there's the developer options so we're just gonna turn on the usb debugging and along with usb debugging we're just gonna also enable this oem unlock so we're just gonna turn this on and let's see what all is over here as well so now we're just gonna go into the download mode and to do that we're just gonna first of all power off our device and now we're just gonna go into the download mode and to do that we're just gonna press volume down key, home key and the power key at the same time and now we're just gonna uh, press the volume up key to continue so and we're just gonna connect the device to our PC so I've connected this over here and now we're just gonna go over to our PC and let me just focus over here and we're gonna open Odin and we're gonna open it as an administrator and there's a blue light over here which indicates that our device is connected and we just wanna uh, click an AP and we're gonna locate our TWRP file over here so I've just selected it and we're just gonna go in options now and we're gonna uncheck the auto reboot and we're gonna start the process now so as the uh, process passed so we're just gonna now go to our device we're just gonna now disconnect it from the PC and we're gonna remove the battery of it and we're gonna keep the battery out for about 5 to 10 seconds so So now we're just gonna reinsert the battery and we're just gonna go directly into the custom recovery now. To go into the custom recovery, we're just gonna press the volume up key, home key and power key at the same time. And now we're gonna let go of the power key. So as you can see, the device is booting into the custom recovery now. And the custom recovery is now installed. So, so let's move on to the routing part. We're just gonna go in install and we're gonna um, go into the the external storage so we're gonna select the storage and I'm gonna select the micro SD card and we're gonna select the beta super super su and all and we're gonna uh, sw swipe to confirm flash so it will start routing a device So it is saying that your device may take a little bit of time to boot up and it may boot loop for a few times so we're just gonna reboot the system now. So the device has just start just started up now so we're just gonna go in apps and we're gonna see that there's the super user and no thanks and as you can see the device is rooted now and you have the custom recovery now as well as the root it is rooted so and I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching guys